Hey busy bees, it's Zung, and I wanna welcome you to our new back to school mini series. Yay! For most of August, I'm gonna be sharing fun back to school snacks, uh, recipes, lunches, breakfast, you name it. So this week, I'm gonna be sharing some back to school snacks that'll be good for parents, kids and even college students. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited for more back to school videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna see more fun, well, basically if you wanna see this back to school mini series. We'll go ahead and get started with showing you what I got from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna start off with some fun snackable produce that I found at Trader Joe's. Of course, I will start with strawberries cause Honestly, I just feel like they're so versatile. Um, these are organic strawberries and they're probably one of the better ones that I've found at Trader Joe's for a, for a long time. Um, not too bruised. These are great for snacks for the whole family. The next one are these organic apricots. These are actually my first apricots of the season and I kind of can't believe that because I love apricots and I used to get them like at the beginning but they're kind of trailing towards the end of the season. They're nice and ripe and these would go so well with the cheeses and stuff that I um, bought. You guys stay tuned till the end because I'm going to be putting together bento boxes with the combination of these items that I got. I found this really interesting very cherry plum. This is a new item and it's a combination of, you got it, part cherry, part plum. It smells, it smells really fresh. Mmm, I'm, I'm excited to try this. Actually, why don't I try one right now for you? First bite was a little tart. I haven't eaten any. I haven't eaten anything all day. Mm. You get the texture of a plum, but you get a little bit of that like sweet cherry flavor, like from a rain, rainier, rainier, rainier. I don't know how do you guys say that cherry, but the yellow and red ones. That's what it kind of tastes like. I really like this. If you guys see this at your local Trader Joe's, definitely try it out. It's really sweet. I mean, upon first bite, it's a little tangy, but for the most part, it's very sweet. My second bite, I didn't have that happen at all. Mm. Next up are some raspberries. Um, these are great just to snack alone if you're kind of sick of strawberries, but I like mixing the two together. If you have blueberries, you can stick them in the raspberries and do raspberries. Thanks, JT, for the tip. All right, I also got these Granny Smith apples. Erisi is teething right now, and so she loves gnawing on anything hard, and apples are perfect for that. Also, some organic bananas. These are great to throw into smoothies. Also great just to pack and eat on the run. Those are my fruits. Now I'm gonna get into like snackable vegetables. I found these really pretty cut rainbow carrots. Cut and peeled baby rainbow carrots. And for me, I just feel like they taste a little sweeter, the uh, rainbow carrots, and they're just more interesting to add to my snack boxes. I also got little baby mini peppers. They're actually called sweet baby bell peppers. I don't eat them plain like this. What I like to do, and I'll show you guys in a little bit, I like cutting them in half and then stuffing them with this creamy goat cheese. Wow, it is a life changer. My sister and I made these for actually my bridal shower and they were gone so fast. Like people were like, oh, I never knew that they could taste like that good. They will, they do. All right, let's see. Now those are my produce items and technically this isn't really a produce item but I got this ginger tube because they're really versatile and if I'm in a quick need for like ginger tea or I don't know need to add ginger on something I like adding this too this isn't really a snack but that's what I got from Trader Joe's as well so I thought I'd share I'll talk about the cheeses since I already showed you the uh, fresh and creamy herb chev goat cheese. It's really good on toast, crackers, vegetables, so if you end up getting it, you'll have many uses for it. 
All right, now next one, I got some baby bells. Baby bells just remind me of my childhood. We used to get these and then the laughing cow cheeses all the time, and they're just great for snacking. I also got some string cheese, because Erisi loves string cheese, and they're just easy. They're individually packed, so we can just throw them in our diaper bag, in the bento box. Really portable. Um, okay, another fresh item I got are these uh, organic eggs. Ow. We actually have another pack at home that I just got, so I ended up getting a smaller one just to show you guys uh, for video purposes. But what I like to do for snacks um, with the eggs is just hard boiled eggs with some salt and pepper, and they provide extra protein, they keep me full. They're just easy. I also got this organic low fat squishers. They're yogurt tubes for Aracy. Um, these are really fun too because now we stick them in the freezer. Because she's teething, she likes to gnaw on ice. That's how she, she says ice. But these are a little more filling. And um, in terms of the sugar content, they're only eight grams, which is a lot lower than a lot of the other ones that I was looking at. Like some of them were 10 grams, 14, 15, 16 even. This is only eight, so I ended up getting this. Plus they're cherry and berries, so. It'd be fun. Another great refrigerated item that I found is this salami right here. Um, I like looking for salami or just meat cold cuts that have no nitrates or nitrites added. Usually what they put um, is like cultured celery juice or something for natural nitrates and these are actually really delicious. Finally, packaged goods. I found these crunchy coconut sesame seed clusters. They look really interesting. I've never tried them before, so let me tell you guys what they taste like. All right, upon opening the package, they look like this. They're like little mini baby clusters. Yeah. So they look like coconut chips that have been kind of so they look like coconut chips, like real coconut flakes that they kind of put together with sesame seeds. Mmm. Mmm. All right guys, I highly recommend this. Mmm. I'm tempted to eat the whole handful, but we got to finish filming, but they're crunchy, but not in like a synthetic or fried way. They're like dried, so they're kind of crispy still. Um, I remember when one of my coworkers got me like real coconut chips from Hawaii. These remind me of them. And if I were still commuting for work, I would be keeping one of these in my bag and just popping them in my mouth as I'm driving in traffic. These are really good guys. I highly recommend it. Next up, I also found this five seed almond bars. They look like biscottis. I've never seen this before. It's full of, let's see. It's full of flax, poppy, sunflower, sesame, and pumpkin seeds combined with almonds to create a chewy, hearty bar perfect for a quick breakfast or snack. That's right. And it has omega-3 fatty acids. Pretty healthy, right? For most of the snacks I got, I was going for a healthier option. All right, so I actually thought this would have been hard like a biscotti, but it's pretty soft. Mm, smells very cinnamony, smells very fall like. Mm. Also, tastes super healthy. And just because I always need a chocolate option, I found this cowboy bark. It's dark chocolate with toffee pretzel Jojo cookies, um, which is their version of Oreos, peanuts, almonds, and a sprinkling of salt. I feel like one of these barks would just satisfy all of my different cravings. So like the sweet, salty, chocolate. I'm excited for this. I also got almond butter because it pairs really well with my brown rice 
rice cakes. I always have these around. They're like the perfect snack. Crunchy, goes well with this, goes well with cheese, salami. And then finally, I got some nuts. This one, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this is a new item. I've never seen this before. This is mesquite smoked seasoned almonds. It has like a smoky barbecue flavor, I'm thinking. I should try this. This is my first time getting this too. It's coated with a lot of seasoning. Mmm. I was thinking because it's very well coated with the seasoning that it might be a little too salty, but I think it's very well balanced. Now, if it's too salty for you guys, I suggest getting a different type of nut, maybe like this whole cashew which with less salt and mix them together. If you guys want like even less salt, go ahead and just get one without any salt in it and um, it would be like a mixed nut thing that you DIY. All right, and I think that's it. So let me go ahead and get into creating those bento boxes for you guys. We're gonna start with the kitty bento box. I'm gonna start with a hard boiled egg. I already have one here, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel it for you guys. That way we make it easy for the kitties. I'll cut it in half and I'll add it to our bento. I'm keeping all the savory things together, so I'll add two to three slices of salami. This one is larger than a typical size, so I'll just do two. Roll it up. Perfect. Then we have to have some fruit, so I have the green apples, some rainbow carrots. I feel like rainbow might get them to eat the carrots because it's pretty. I'll tuck in the string cheese. I'll just leave it in the packet. And finally, their yogurt, which will go outside of the bento box next to the ice pack. And there you have it, the kitty bento. So the next one, I'm gonna call this the happy hour snack pack because it kind of reminds me what you would enjoy with like wine. So here I have my mini bell peppers that I've already stuffed with goat cheese, but I wanna show it to you guys as well. I'll put them in here. I'm just gonna take a little bit and then I'll just spread it into the cavity of the bell pepper. Bite-sized snack. These would also go so well with the salami. So I'll add two little salami rolls. And then our fruit. I have the plum cherry, apricots, raspberries, strawberries. We'll just tuck it in right here. I'm gonna make a little more room and move this guy over. I love this divider because you can move it around. Honestly, I'm totally fine with the goat cheese touching the strawberries and the fruit because goat cheese goes really well with fruit too. Next, I have my mixed nuts that I've added to a mini container. Whenever I order takeout and they give me sauce in these containers, I always rinse them out, save them, and reuse them for stuff like this. And then our almond snack bar. I think I'll break this one in half. Well, hello there. Parents, this glass is for you. I know how hectic back to school can be, but hopefully you can enjoy a glass of wine with the snack bento box. Not at work though. <laughs> so finally, our last bento, I decided to name it the brain food. Nate thought it would be fun to call it the ace, cause if you eat this, you'll ace your test, but I went with brain food. Which one would you guys vote for? So anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna start with the produce snacks. I have the carrot sticks here, and we're gonna keep the produce stuff on one side, divided up so it doesn't get all the other items soggy. I'm gonna add the carrots, pack them in, and then I have my apples. This is where your geometry skills really come in handy. I love dipping them with almond butter. So I'll just put that to the side right here. And then for some protein, I have an egg, but I'm not gonna peel it this time because I don't want it to make all the other items soggy. Tuck it in right here. Plus you guys are like university, college students, high school, you can crack your own egg, right? If you steam, here's a pro tip. If you steam your eggs for 10 to 12 minutes, you'll get perfect hard boiled egg that's easy to peel. If you boil it, I find that the water makes the shell really hard and it just like cracks into little pieces. Um, okay, next we have our baby bell. 
And then you definitely need chocolate for studying. I know when I'm studying for an exam, I just need that like sweet treat to calm down and like calm my stress levels down. So I have our cowboy bark. And this is full of antioxidants because it's dark chocolate. And finally, our coconut sesame clusters. I am so excited about these guys. Oops. Hey, there's another idea. Dip these in almond butter too. And that's your brain food. In this one, you don't have anything too heavy. You have protein, you have vegetables, you have cheese um, to keep you full, and then a sweet treat. So here are our three snack bento boxes, the kitty box, the happy hour box, and the brain food box. I forgot to mention, this one must go into a refrigerator because of the goat cheese, so this would be perfect if you guys work in an office setting. Just make sure nobody steals your food. Let me know what you guys thought about the items that I bought and then how I packed them together as a snack. And if you guys wanna see more of this back to school series, I would love your feedback on what you might find helpful, um, what advice you need, stuff like that. So be sure to comment below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.